In this video, we talk about circular doubly linked list. For example, this is the node which uh, this is the circular linked list which consists of three nodes. Now, being at the first node, we cannot traverse backward. Similarly, at the last node, we cannot traverse forward because the right link is null and here we cannot traverse backward because the left link of the first node is back backward because the right link the, I'm sorry the left link is is null in order to enable backward traverse at the first node and the forward traversing at the last node we will store the address of the first node into the right, right link and into the left link we will store address of the last node so that in, e, in this particular linked list so that at each node we can move forward or backward so this is what is circular linked list coming to the operation operate operations on defined on that our primary operations we use traversing where we visit each node in circular doubly linked list and insertion we'll talk about how to insert a node at friend or how to insert a node at rear end then when we come to deletion we will discuss about deletion of a node at front end and deletion of a node at rear end then displaying all the contents of the linked list now we move on traversing operation on circular doubly linked list given this linked list we need to display, we need to visit each node starting from the first, then go to here, then go to here. Now, when we, if we follow this forward link, then we again come back to the same position. Now, we need to have some markers on where we can we cannot go to this again a loop that is we need to mark the end of the circular doubly linked list for that marking we will just say being over here if the right link is not equal to the first if it is equal then we reached the end node so with that with that we can visit each node until the right link is not equal to the first to do that we assign a pointer to this first then move on or we say process or jump until the current right link is not equal to first you can see that here current right link is not equal to first because it is pointing to this one then make a jump then again you just compare current right link is not equal to first but it is pointing to this now you can jump then after that when I say like current is not equal to no it is equal so when this condition fails the current the pointer which started from the first points to the last node then we display the last node when we so jump until this then the condition would fail then come out of the loop and display again this so that is the idea about visiting all the node or traversing all the nodes in the circular link to formalize to formalize this traversing we need to or we say like display so 
So here is the code to a snippet to traverse each node in the doubly linked list. We will assign a pointer at the first node. Then we'll check whether current link is not equal to the first one. First, that is the first node. If that is the case, then we can visit or print or process whatever it is. I have taken over here to print. Okay. Then we jump. Current is equal to current right link. So now, then we check whether the right current right link is not equal to first. When this condition fails, the current would be at the last node. We will, when the control comes out of this, then we will process or print the last node. So this is the code code snippet to visit each node from first first node to the last node in circular linked list. So we will use this course this idea of one pointer method pointer method in circular doubly linked list while we formalize the operations such as insure, insertion, deletion and also for display the contents of the circular doubly linked list. Now we move on to formalize inserting a node in circular doubly linked list. For example, at front end, we will insert a node. Now you can think of a node which is a temp. Suppose like 50, I, I, 50 item is 50 and this node points to itself and this also points to itself. So this is how the node is created or allocated and initialized now if we need to how to insert a node here at front so in order to insert a node in the beginning of the linked list circular linked list we need to consider several steps step one is we create the node and initialize its fields as done below. Allocate the memory for the, the node and you can see, observe that temp left link is stored with temp itself address. That is why I wrote like the left link is pointing to itself and also the right link is pointing to this. So we can say like temp info is some item that we we assumed over here item is equal to 50 and the temp left right link is equal to temp itself. So this is what the step one. Once th this is done, we need to we need to check whether whether list is empty or not. That is that is we need to insert into empty list or into existing list. So ch to check whether the we are inserting the created node into an empty list, we'll check if first is equal to is equal to null. Then we may if it is equal to null, then we make that the new node as the first node itself. Otherwise, we move on to step 3 where we need to in insert into the existing list. So, in order to insert into the existing list, the first thing what we need to do is we have to get the a pointer to the last node because the content whatever we write it should be not of the first but of the this is going to be the first node and hence we need to have the address of this particular node to do that we can move backward at the first uh, use this left link so that we will come over here so we'll say like last is equal to first first left link 
so that last would come on point over here so this is the first step that we need to do next we will make this right link to point to the temp so that we can we, we can create a link like this so this is the second step so the code for second step is we can say last last right link is equal to temp last right link is equal to you store temp so that this link is removed no longer present here now actually this this link has to like it here it has to point to the last like this so the third is the third point we can say like temp left link is equal to last right so this now this this link is gone this link is now it is not pointing to itself but it is pointing to the last next now this this is already it is not pointing it is not pointing here because as soon as we executed the second statement this is not there now the third is you can just see the right link of the temp if we say if we point make a point like this this is the first step so the fourth step is temp right link is equal to first and this will point over here this is fit now this would be we will delete this where first left link is equal to 10 now this would be gone as soon as you execute the fourth statement so here the fifth statement is first left link is equal to 10 so this is what we get after executing all these statements 1 2 3 4 5 so once again let's see the, the the first one is to get to get to get last is equal to first left link first is here now we go here right so this is the first statement so last will be assigned over here second statement is this last left our right link is stored the address of the temp so that this link is gone right then temp left link is made to point to the last and temp right link is made to point to the first then first right left link is point to the temp so as you execute all these four or five statements then we then if we return this then that would be we have inserted an element at the beginning or that first front end in circular linked list so these are the five statements that we need to write for step 3 before we write we create a function name circular cd stands for circular doubly linked list insert in front end so given this node and the item so we can formalize we can write like this declare two variables pointer variables that is temp and last 
and now the first step is to allocate memory for new node and initialize all the fields of the new node created. So once we allocate and initialize all the fields of the new node, now we will check whether we need we will check whether we need to insert this allocated or created new node into the list which is not existed. That is, we'll check whether first is equal to none. If that is there, then we will return temp new node created itself. Else, we'll go on insert into the existing node. So get a marker to the last node. Get a marker, then you join the last and first the last right link is stored the address of the first that is temp and temp left link that is the first ad, that is the new node which is going to be the first node in the linked list the right link needs to be stored address of the last one so that's that's the meaning of this then we need to connect the forward direction forward uh, forward link to the earlier first and the left link of the, the earlier first is connected to the new node. So, so this is the function which will insert, which will insert, so this is insert a node at the front end. So this inserting a node by in the existing, existing link list and this is where the list does not have any node at all. Given this link list, circular W link list, now at rear end we are trying to insert a node. Suppose think that this is 50 and now here this one is created, initialize, now needs to be connected here. That's the that's the task we have. So again the several steps as earlier we discussed for inserting at front end. Now the same step that we can follow so steps are like create, create or in uninitialize that is creating a, this node and initializing all these fields. Now inside this node in empty list is the step 2 and inside in existing list is the step 3. So let us see, uh, uh, this, this is a trivial, uh, trivial steps step now. Now this is also uh, where we check whether there is empty list. Now this, this one is not trivial. So we will write a steps or a code snippet for these two and then we will see the steps C. So step A is formalized, we can formalize in these statements. So allocate memory calling size of the struct node and the left link is initialized point made to point to the cell. And temp info is like item. We take example 50 over here, and temp right link is pointing to the same inside. So that is why I wrote a diagram uh, visualizing over here. It points to the same same temp, and right link also points to the same link. Now insert in the empty list. We know step. We know step B. Like if we check whether first is equal to null. So if this is the case, then we'll make this particular created new node as the first node. Now step C is inserting into the existing list. So coming here, the list is existed over here, right, in 10, 20 and 30 are three nodes present in the linked list. Now how to insert? The first step is 
to get a marker over here that is we can say like last is equal to first first left link so this is the first statement that we need to so once we get a marker here which is pointing to the last node now we need to write something here something here what is that we need to write over here now you think that i stretch this one like this so like like this so we can say like temp right link is equal to first itself right and first left link is equal to temp itself so that these 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 pointers is pointing to this guy the last the node that we are inserting at the end so we need to write like this so this is the, th the second and this is the third where we need to we need to write so second is temp right link temp right link is made to like first so that this is not present at all so this is not there and this is not there the third is we we'll say like first left link is temp link is temp then the the fourth one is this and fifth one is this fourth and fifth so fourth is fourth is last right link is equal to temp fifth one is temp left link is equal to last so you get all you get if you execute all these one by one you see that see that the temp is included here and written first so this is the code snippet for for inserting at the last a new node into the circular link request so a function is created circular doubly insert rear giving at the, the arguments is the linked list and the item so the first step is uh, we need a, a pointer temp and last and first step is we allocate memory and initialize as shown here alloc allocate memory for the new node then left link is initialized made to point to temp itself and initialize to item given item over here we took example 50 and uh, right link is made to point to itself now we'll step b is like we, we if we if first is equal to is equal to null that is list doesn't exist then we'll just return the new node and it is made the first node itself else we'll just continue uh, here else we obtain a marker to the la 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 last node node using this statement last is equal to first left link so once that is done now we need to we need to change the temp right link to first 
and the first left link to temp then temp left left link to last and the last right link to temp and return return first so uh, this can be these two can be interchanged okay so i can say la last right link is equal to temp and temp left link is equal to last so this is the end of else and this is end of the function so this function will insert a element or a node into a circular doubly linked list at rear end so allocation initialization if the link li link list doesn't contain anything insertion insertion of the list linked list node where linked list existed so this is the code snippet for that so now we move on deleting a node or deletion of a node from front end in circular doubly linked list several cases needs to be considered case 1 if the list is empty we we'll, we can print appropriate message that if the list is empty we cannot delete any node from the list case 2 if only only one node is present how to delete that case 3 is more than one node present in the linked list so how to do that case by case we will discuss and write a code and create a function for delete deleting a node at front end in circular double linked list so case one if the list is empty we'll say just first is equal to none if that is the case then we just write just say that first if it first is equal to null then we'll display appropriate message saying that list is empty and the return first itself okay so and, and the case second case is second case is only one node is present now to check only one node either of the forward link you can use or backward link you can use either of the condition we can use like we can say like if if first we can say like first is left link is equal to first itself then only one node is present if first right link is is equal to first then there is then also first node is present only one node is present so we need to delete this so we can free this node right so if we check this condition then we we use this condition then we can say like we can print appropriate message saying that the deleted so we will use this first right link is equal to first is equal to first then we'll say like deleted item is this then free first then return null moving on to case 3 where or we need to delete where more than one item or more than one node are present in the linked list for example this is the linked list uh, sorry um, okay so this is the linked list where 10 20 30 3 nodes are there we need to delete this one. so observe that which are the links that it is getting affected this is the first link that is getting affected this is the link and these are the links that it is getting affected so we need to check reassign 
these links such that this this could be deleted the first thing that we need to do is we need to do is obtain the address of this one the second element we can do this by we can say like second is equal to first right link so second would be there the next one is you have to get the link of this one so you can say like last is equal to first left link so this is second step so now we you can see that the links that is getting affected we are getting so this is the link that is getting affected these are the links that is getting affected these are the link this is the link that is getting affected so what we doing is we are getting address of those nodes where in which links are getting affected so that is the that is the key point once this is done we can now assign now this last we can now we can just assign we can create a link like this last right link is equal to second so a, a link can be created so now this link would not be existent at all now when i say like second left link is equal to last now i would be creating another link over here like this this now this link would be not it, though it is existing we, we so this one is the fourth step so the third one the statement is last right link is equal to second and second second left left link is equal to last now now we can free this one be this one because all the links are done so we can free this one. so free first before freeing the first we can we can print this and free and return the second so before freeing that i can i can print so this is the steps that we need to do consider in case 3 so now we can write a code a function for this so i create a function by name circular doubly linked list delete underscore front node taking one circular doubly linked list i need pointers that is last and second so this is the case where list is empty so we'll print appropriate message saying that the list is empty so that we cannot delete a node which is not present the next next case is if only one node is exists to check that only one node we are using the right link of that particular node if it is equal to pointing to itself we we could use either of this we could use like left link also if it is equal to first so either of these two condition 
it works. So if this is the case, then you just print the item is deleted, that is the first info, and free it and return none. Else part, that means there is more than one node. So get point, get the address of the second node and get the address of the last node present in the link list. Get the markers for the second node and the last node, then you connect the last right link to the second and the second left link to the last. Then we can delete that particular information first node and free the first then you return the second i hope uh, it is clear as we discussed earlier visually as shown over here so get get the these are the steps last r link second and second left link is last so these are the steps that we earlier discussed and so here we can could see the whole function delete friend when there is no element present in the linked list there is only one link one node present in the linked list so we could use either test to whether one link one node is present or not in the linked list right link we can use or left link we can use and uh, this is the code for deleting a friend node if more than one link nodes are present in the linked list. So we, we move on to delete a, a node which is present at rear end in circular double linked list. So here to delete also as we discussed earlier in this video for a deleting front end we consider three cases. Over here also, we consider three cases, where case one is when the list is empty. List is empty and list has only one node and the case three is list has more than one node. So what we do, we will discuss case by case. So case one is to identify whether the list is empty or not, we just use this particular condition saying first is equal to is equal to null if that is the case then we print appropriate message saying that list is empty then return the first else the case 2 is as earlier discussed we need to check whether only one node is present to check that we visually we, we could write if only one node is present then it, it should it, this should be of like this type like this so that we, we used right link is equal to the first itself. So we either we, we could use this condition. If the left link points to itself or the right link points to itself. So that that is the case. Then we need to delete this particular information and free this node. Free means a free is a function. Free is a function which deallocates the memory. Deallocates the memory which is allocated by map function. So we check whether if it is only one node is present, then we'll deallocate. So as shown over here, we just print that is the first info. Uh, then we free the first. And we are returning null. Okay, so because when we free, we don't know what is the value of the first. That is why we are returning null over here. And here, actually, we are returning null itself. Why? Because we can say either this first or null. So, but we cannot say here after free, we cannot say return first. We don't know what is the value of first is stored I'm sorry this is yeah it's, it's fine so uh, what is the value of the first would, would be stored uh, after 
deallocating the memory so what would be the uh, maybe it may be uh, the first would contain a garbage value so for that reason we are returning null to ensure that uh, it would be reinitialized to null itself so that's the that's why we can return null over here but over here it first itself because we we are sure that first is equal to null so this is the case and case 3 is elements exist so how to delete a a node which is present at end of the linked list talking about case 3 where we deleting a node at rear end so this a uh, circular double linked list now this is the node that we need to delete that is the rear end when more than one nodes present in circular double linked list to delete this node we need address of this node so how to get that so that is the first step that we need to do so to for getting we need to get here first then second here so that would be second and that is first so we can say the last node address is first left link so that will get here so last is here and the second statement is we say like previous is equal to last left link So we get the markers like the last and the previous of that. So now we need to change this link, this link and the links over here. That is we need to whatever it is present over here we can write here or directly where we can write pre left link is equal to first like that. Directly we can write. So this, the now we, we change the links as shown below. So now pre right link is equal to first means this is the one where we establish one link. So now this link is now not present. So now I will change the first left link to point to pre earlier it was pointing to the last now I will change that using this statement first left link is equal to pre now we, we can we can just visualize that the last that that is the pre link left links uh, right link is pointing to the first and first left link is pointing to this now we can remove this particular node so as we know we if we want to remove we'll just give appropriate message as shown here we say print f deleted item is the last info and free last return first so this is what happened so we are just freeing this so that all these links are deallocated and we are return return this first so we can now formalize or write a function which will delete a node at the rear end of double link circular linked list so we write a function c that is circular doubly linked list delete underscore rare and we take a linked list so uh, declare two pointers which points to last that is the node which is to be deleted and the, the address previous to that that is the last one previous but not uh, previous of the last node that is to be deleted so this is the condition where the, the list is empty for that we will display appropriate message like this if there is only one node is present as earlier we discussed 
to check only the right link if there is only one node is present. So if only one node is present, then we need to display uh, the deleted item and we need to free that as shown. Else we can write if that is only one node is not present, that is more than one node is present. Now the first step in that case is we need to get the links, that is we, we will get the last node using this statement and as the previous node using this statement. So, this, these are getting the respective node that is deleted, that is last, and the previous one. After that, we we'll modify the links like this. Then, we, we can delete the last node and return first. So, this end of else and this is end of function. So next we move on to displaying the contents of circular w link list. For that we consider two cases. One is list if list is not empty, the case two uh, okay and case one is if list is empty. I will say like for the case one where list is empty the condition to check whether list is empty as earlier also we checked same with same condition we'll say like first is equal to, set equal to null if this is there we say like list is empty after that we'll just return first now case two is if list consists of nodes so this is the linked list as we discussed traversing the same conditions that we can apply here that is initialize a pointer to which points to the first node and move jump while jumping you can display this then move to this then display this and move to this when you at last node you check whether this particular current right link is equal is equal to first if that is the case you come out of the loop then print so this this could be written as the same statements like this so while current right link is not equal to first that is current right link is not equal to first because but it is equal to this node so if this is the case then we can print the content of the current info now once you print this then you have to jump here so that is done by this statement so go to next now you you are here now current right link is not equal to first it is true not equal but it is pointing over here so you can display 10 then you jump here now at this position current right link is equal to first so this this condition would be false it is not equal but it is equal so the control will come over here so we will once again display display the current info here so this this the case two ends here so the same thing we can formalize in terms of a function as shown here so the first uh, 
the cell list is empty so we need not return anything else the list is present so get get the pointer to the pointing to the first and now check so this is what current right link is not equal to first then you print the current information then then jump in the last if the control comes out of the loop by loop over here this this condition is false and we need to print the last node information as shown here so this is end of else and this is end of function so Th this is circular display, uh, circular doubly linked list display, where it, it gets, uh, we take argument uh, that is a linked list and we initialize a pointer, declare a pointer and this is for checking whether list is empty or not. If empty, we display an appropriate message, else the, the, the nodes are present in the list then we do this.